Okay, so let me demonstrate how you're going to do this project for parametric equations. You're going to click on this link to open up a projectile generator problem in a new window. So in this one, my problem will take place on Venus. I got my acceleration due to gravity. My projectiles are being fired at an 8 meter per second speed, angle 46 degrees, and they'll be fired from two different heights. Okay, so in order to write my parametric equation, I'm going to use my magic triangle to break my speed up into components. And when I do that, I get a vertical speed of 5.755 and a horizontal speed of 5.557. Okay, so then I want to write out my parametric equations. And I'm going to do that in a Google Doc. And I'm going to make it a drawing doc. Okay, so I'm going to start out by going back to my triangle program. I'm going to take a picture of the triangle with the calculations. I'd like to use that in my Google Doc. So I go in here. I insert that screenshot that I just took. Okay, I'd also like to include in that my original problem. With this one, rather than a screenshot, I think I'm just going to copy it, bring it into my untitled drawing, make a text box, and paste it in. Okay, so now I'm going to write out my parametric equations. So I'm going to insert another text box. And my first equation would be y as a function of t is equal to my original height. I'll do the one from 2 meters plus the vertical speed times time minus 0.5 times the acceleration due to gravity on Venus. I already put the negative in front, so I can just write it as 8.8 times t squared. Okay, then we'll do x as a function of time. And that is going to be equal to, starting at 0, the horizontal speed times the time. Okay, I now make my box big enough to see. And this is for projectile number 1. And I can do the same thing for projectile number two. It's got the same original conditions. The only thing I'm changing is the height. So it seems to make sense to just copy and paste. Go in and change the height from two meters to seven meters. These are the parametric equations I'm going to put into Logger Pro. Okay, obviously I can't type them quite the same way. So I'm going to go into Logger Pro. And the first thing I'm going to do is make my x column time. I'm going to generate values for, for time. I'm going to start at 0 seconds. I'm going to end at 2 seconds. And I'm going to increment by about 10 milliseconds each time. Now I want to cal uh, get some new calculated columns. The first will be y position for my first projectile. Call it y units or meters. The equation is 2 plus 5.755 times time, which I get from my variable menu, minus 0.5 times 8.8 .8 for Venus times time squared. I then make a column for my x. Call that x position. x meters. This one's a little easier. It just is 5.5557 times t time. Done. To have it display, I click on this, go to y position. Click on this, go to x position. I don't want anything going below the zero line, so I'm going to make this zero. I now want to do my next projectile. So what I do is I do a new data set. 
I now should have a second data set showing up. I'm going to expand the window for this. I have to go in and generate my times, keep them the same as last time. I have to change my equation here for y. And it's no longer a starting height of 2, but instead it's a starting height of 7. Okay, I now go in here. I don't change anything to that. I can then shrink this up. So I can see my whole graph. To get my second um, thing to show up, I double click on the graph, go in the axes option, open up this thing, turn on my other Y position, and I can see both graphs. Now you'll notice the second one doesn't hit the ground, so I'm going to increase the time ever so slightly, maybe give it another half second erase all the stuff that went before. I now want to change the color of one of these because they look very similar. So maybe this one. Go in the here. Change the color of the pumpkin. And now I have my two different graphs. I want to name them. So this had a starting height of 7. This one had a starting height of 2. Okay, I could put my other parameters here. Projectile fired on Venus. And we had a starting speed, 8 meters per second at an angle of 46 degrees. I now have everything that I need. I want to do a little screenshot of just the graph. So I'm going to take a quick screenshot. I then want to incorporate it into my Google drawing. And at that point, I will be done. You then just share that final document with your teacher and you're good. If you have any questions don't hesitate to uh, email me but hopefully between this and the directions everything you need to do is clear.